What is up guys, I am back. It is Zach Ploche, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a basic Vite view project with some of the normal settings that I normally add to these. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my project folder. We're going to just call this view or Vite view project. I'm going to right click, open this up with VS code. So you can just open this up with VS code. Also to do this particular version of this setup. Um, I'm going to be using Yarn in order to just make the setup a bit faster. And I like using Yarn because it's faster than Node alone. So it does require Node and Yarn at a minimum. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is say Yarn create Vite uh, with a dot to represent the current directory. That's where I want my project folders or uh, folder to show up because I already created the folder and I want everything inside of here. Next, I'm going to say dash dash template and then say view. You can also do view TS if you want to work with TypeScript, but I don't know TypeScript yet. I need to, but I only know view. So we're going to just use view and let's press enter here. And boom, it created everything for us. Uh, now, if we run this, if we try to run yarn or yarn dev, well, actually it tells us what to run. So it says yarn and then run yarn dev. Uh, the reason why is if we just try to run yarn dev, it's going to say it's not recognized as a internal or external command. Um, that's because we need to say yarn in order for it to um, basically create all of our node modules. It'll read from the package.json, I think, and then it will do everything it needs to there. So let's say yarn and this node modules will pop up. And that's good. Next, we can say yarn dev and see what we have so far. Open up Brave there. All right, cool. So now we have Vite and View, just their basic page as well as this count thing where if you click on it, it counts up. Uh, so that's cool. Um, now about some, just a few config things here. So one of the things that I typically like to do when I start a project is, um, uh, kind of like when you're using Vue CLI, it allows the usage of at ali uh, yeah at symbol aliases. So just whenever you use at instead of dot, uh, it automatically refers to the source directory, and it just makes your life a bit easier. So we're going to quickly set that up. Uh, we're going to go to here. We're going to say uh, first import. Uh, so inside of the Vite config config.js. We're going to say import path from path down here. We're going to say resolve, make an object alias. Oh, sorry. Resolve alias, make another object. We're going to say at symbol. And then here we're going to say path dot resolve double underscore dir name. And then I believe it's dot slash source just to represent the source folder where we want that to occur. Uh, so now that we have this, um, we can go back to our code and pretty much replace yeah, every single thing that was a dot with an at symbol. So in our app.view as well, here it imported hello world from components hello world.view. Now we can just say at there. Components, I don't think this uses anything like that. So that one's pretty much good. And uh, yeah, uh, so now that we have that, uh, we should be able to build our own components as well. So they just created a hello world component. Um, we're going to delete their default setup and use our own. So right now it's saying that there is no hello world. And as you can see, they use the um, composition API by default. We're going to delete a few of these styles here. Delete everything in this template to make our own. And just to see that it still works, um, we're going to say h1 hello world. And maybe we'll have a button here that says click me like so. And if we look back, it already did all those changes. So the button is still has all the button styling and everything. So that's still cool. Um, right. So let's go ahead and try to make a component just so you can see what that looks like now. So we'll go ahead and make one. Let's just call it counter. So we'll just say counter button dot view. That will be our component template here. Just going to say button. Uh, Let's do the script setup like so. Now we're going to say import ref from view. And we're just going to have one const counter 
equals ref zero. So we add that. Now inside of our button, we're going to be showing off this counter. And on click, so we're gonna say at click, we're just gonna say counter plus plus in order to add to that counter every time we click on it. Uh, so we added this counter button component here. So this is pretty much done. Let's go back to app.view. We go here, get rid of this, and we're gonna add the counter button like so. We can probably even add it like that since we're not doing anything special here. Uh, we're gonna, just gonna say script setup and add the import counter button from at components counter button dot view like so and that should work now right so that's basically the same thing that they that they did i just wanted to show you how you would create a component in this particular use case now one thing that i will add because it is also useful is the following so i'm going to i'm going to stop the server for a second and we're going to say uh basically we're going to add yarn or sorry uh now we're going to add view router to our project so you see what that process looks like so because i most of the time end up using view router just because it's awesome so we're going to say yarn add dash d view router i believe it's at version four um so we'll just write it like this Okay, so that was added. Let's go ahead and build that. Um, so there's a few ways we can create this. I'm just going to create a router.js file. Um, and actually, because it's a plugin and I normally store all of those together, I'm gonna use uh, plugins slash router.js. So now we know where that is. Next, I'm going to say import create router and then create web history from view router. Now we're going to create our routes. We're just going to have our home. So we're going to say path and then we're going to say uh, name home and component is going to be a lazy loaded component, which is their preferred way of doing it. So we're going to say uh, arrow function import at uh, views slash home dot view like so. And uh, we might even create an about page, but uh, eh, yeah, why not? So to have an about page, we're gonna say slash about because we need to have a sla uh, forward slash here. Uh, this we can just call about if we want to and then say just about.view, that can be our about page. Let's go ahead and create those really quick. So views home.view, about.view. For home, we can actually just change this to home. Uh, grab the counter button as well and the template template like so yep so that's pretty much good of course we'll need to script and script setup there import counter button from uh, at components slash counter button dot view. Now we have that here. Also, normally this ends up turning green counter button. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not at the moment, but um, either way, it should work here. So that's cool. And same with the about page. Uh, this one will actually just have about. So this will just say about and P lorem Right, we'll just have a p tag here and hopefully it does the styling automatically. Uh, so let's see. In this one, because we just installed view router, now we should be able to say uh, one. Well, actually, okay, yeah, we need to finish the setup over here. Uh, so let's go back to router. We have these two routes. Next, we're going to create our router equals, so const router equals create router going to take in an object that has the routes inside of it. So we can just say routes and it'll automatically map that to routes here. And then we're going to say, uh, I believe it's history and then create web history like so. 
and uh, we can add more to this, but right now we're just keeping it simple. So once we have our router, we're gonna say export default router. Once we have that built, we're going to go in here, import router from at plugins, router.js or just router because I don't think you need the .js when it comes to JavaScript files anymore. So at least in this setup. So um, next we're going to say use router. And now we should have view router in here. Um, so now that we have that actually added and set up, uh, in this one, we're just gonna say router view. Oops. Router view, like so. And uh, it's already green. Um, if you want to make sure that it's you're getting it from the right place, you can also say uh, router view from view, import router view from view router, like so. And uh, like if you want, you can have like a super basic nav bar uh, where it's like you can add router link as well, which you don't actually need to import it because it's kind of automatically there. So we can make this to uh, name home. That'll be our home page. And then uh, about, that'll be our about page, like so. Make this UL, make these LI. Like so. Nope, not quite what I meant. Bloop. All right, and that should be good. So let's take a look back at our page here. Hello world has, still has the counter. Um, also, oh yeah, we gotta run the server. Whoops, already did that. Yarn dev. Let's see what we got. And all right, so looks like there is an issue. Let's see what that is. Or let's see. There we go. OK, so it does look like it's working. So currently, right, we have both of these. Um, something is different with the styling slightly here. Uh, don't exactly know why that is. Maybe it's because this is a div. Or, well, hmm. I actually don't know why that would be different. Um, but either way, we do see that our app is working and it's showing us these two different components, view components that we built, and that's pretty much it. So as far as basic setup goes, that is all there really is. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the content, subscribe, and I will be making more very soon. So bye for now.